It is April 30th, 2022, and this is the latest news update for Medellin, Colombia, and Colombia as a whole. Follow along. You're watching DC Born Rob, Racing Borders. And now, the news. Okay, good morning, good evening, good afternoon, wherever it is you're located. Thanks for watching. My name is Rob Christian, also known as DC Born Rob, DC Rob. Rob, I answered to them all. Thank you guys for watching. Again, in this video, we're going over the latest news update for Medellin, Colombia and Colombia as a whole. And more specifically, I want to address the possibility of the rules being changed tomorrow, which is May 1st, regarding entrance to Colombia and the need for a vaccine or the need for a test. So I wanna address what little bit of extra information I found out, I wanna pass that on to you. But if you ever get any benefit out of my videos, do me a favor, go down and hit the subscribe button, click the bell to be alerted of any new videos and like, like helps the YouTube algorithm. The more you take a second and go down and hit like, the more people get to see these videos. For everybody who takes a second and go down and hit like, this is for you. Cool man said, you all right. That's right, thank you guys so much. Let me jump into this first issue on what I found, what additional information I found as far as, is this law? Is there an actual decree to begin allowing outsiders, you know, meaning people who are not from Colombia to enter Colombia with more than just a vaccine? In other words, you can either get in with your vaccine or a PCR or an antigen test. So let me address what I found right here. Okay, so for the first story, you can see this is from Yahoo News, and they're just regurgitating what they got from Reuters. And this one is entitled, uh, Columbia to lift face mask mandate for some indoor spaces from May 1st. And I've highlighted a few sections. I'm just going to read this a little bit. It says, travelers to Columbia who are not fully vaccinated must present a negative PCR test taken 72 hours before arrival or an antigen test taken 48 hours before Duque said. So this is all going by what Duque said uh, on the 25th on Monday. And I, it sounds like a former president where he just makes these statements. Now the government has to go behind him to try to clean it up and actually make it law. But I think he was more so talking and that it wasn't a law as of yet. I'm not 100% sure. So I just want to let you guys know, I'm not 100% sure. So, and I've done quite a bit of research to even get these stories right here. So the next one is from uh, Newsroom Panama. It's entitled Columbia to Lift Mask Mandate on May 1st. But again, a highlighted section. It says for international travelers, the Colombian head of state said that it is advisable to arrive in the country with complete vaccination schedules. Then this is all quote. This is quoting the president uh, Monday where he says, those who do not have complete schemes or are not vaccinated will require a negative PCR test that does not exceed 72 hours. An antigen test that does not exceed 48 hours may also be presented, he said. Okay, again, so this one is from News Panama. Next one is from the gate.travel. Um, this story, it looks like it's all over. A lot of people are reusing this story. Um, and, and it's entitled Colombia and Malta will officially remove their mask mandate. Somehow this story is all over. People are reusing it. But again, I've just highlighted a section. So I just want to go over this piece. And it says, as of May 1st, 2022, unvaccinated uh, vacationers shall be allowed to, as soon as once more enter Colombia offering, they bring about a 72 hour PCR or 48 hour antigen. Take a look at it. I mean, some of these interpretations, um, these translations are not the literal. OK, remember that. OK, this is this is the biggest one that I did find other than uh, El Colombiano. This one is El Geraldo. OK, so it's a major Colombian uh, news media outlet in uh, Colombia. So this one is entitled. These are the new measures for the entry of travelers to the country. The new measures will take effect from May 1st. Again, I'm just going to read this whole one because it's a short one. It says President Ivan Duque reported that the health emergency will be extended until June 30th. And with with it, some changes will be made in the preventative measures against COVID-19 from May 1st. It says one of those changes is related to the measures for travelers who want to enter the country. Within the framework of this announcement, the Minister of Health, Fernando Ruiz, uh, explain the changes in detail. He says, as for those who wish to enter Colombia, the minister stressed that all international travelers must have, must have a vaccination card with a complete schedule. 
Okay, they make that statement, and right behind it, he says, however, he indicated that we are expanding to unvaccinated people who will be able to enter Colombia. To do this, they must present a PCR test no older than 72 hours or an antigen test no older than 48 hours. The minister affirmed that we feel that with the high coverage we have and the high immunity, obviously by arrival from countries where there is affection is a risk. But there is already an advance in immunity in Colombians that protects us and allows us to have economic and social activity that allow us an important recovery, he specified. For faced with extension of health emergency, Ruiz stated that the new extension of the health emergency was considered as a transition. There are measures that will be modulated and others that will cease, that will end the emergency, such as that of the emergency asset. So, that's what I found on this from other sources. Now, I did find an application because ultimately it's the airlines that are, are tasked with checking all this information. So ultimately, that's where I would look first, not even to the, the Department of State. So, but I found this from United though. You know, I can't stand United, but they do have this portal or this piece of their website that says find your travel requirements okay and i'll, I'll put this in the uh, description of this video it says passport visa and health requirements for provided uh, are supplied and updated regularly by the international air transport association so the ieta is the governing body over all the airlines and travel industry so they're the ones that are updating this daily so i may get something new today than what i got yesterday so let's say uh, here's your itinerary. Choose the origin. I'm coming from United States. Okay. It's not like check me. You don't have to have Estados Unidos or have the Estados at the end. It's crazy. And I am going to, let's say I'm going to Colombia. Where the heck is Colombia? Okay. And my arrival date, let's just say, um, leaving, um, on the 14th. Okay. Uh, choose return or onward ticket. So return, <clears throat> you have to have an onward ticket or return. Uh, sometimes they check, sometimes they don't. Just have a return flight ticket or, or pay $10 and get one of the fake ones or just book it and cancel it the next day. Uh, well, I'm not saying do that. I'm just saying that's that's a workaround for it. So this one says uh, traveler details. Okay, my nationality is, it's not American, it is you know, USA. That's my nationality. Uh, passenger type, I am, what am I? I have a normal passport and region of country. Where am I coming from? Again, I am from the United States. That's my nationality. Oh, I got Ukraine. There you go. Okay, so that's my resident. And check requirements at the bottom. You have this button. And then you have this filled out. It says summary. Conditional, the, travel, the traveler will need to hold travel documents as detailed below. So it says you need a passport, of course, you live in the country, passport uh, exemptions, nationals of USA with emergency passport, document validity. Um, I think you have to have six months left on it, admissions and transit uh, restrictions, passports must be machine readable. So they have to be able to take a picture of it. Um, warning, a check MIG form must be submitted at uh, most 72 hours before departure. Okay, and it gives you a link here too, which is good. Um, the passengers and airline crew must have a COVID-19 vaccination certificate showing that they were fully vaccinated at least 14 days before arrival or a COVID-19 vaccination certificate showing that they had received the first vaccine dose uh, and a negative COVID antigen or PCR test. Um, the negative COVID antigen test must be taken at most 48 hours before boarding. The negative COVID-19 PCR test must be taken at most 72 hours before boarding. This does not apply to passengers younger than 18. So I'm not, I'm, I'm, I'm not understanding this fully. It's saying that, okay, you need your vaccination certificate, either the two weeks or one week. So it looks like you, you can take either one or the other test. So it looks like it hasn't changed here. So you can take either one of the tests if you have not, uh, if you haven't had 14 days expire since your second shot, or you've only taken your first shot. In other words, you have to have one of the shots to be able to utilize the test. 
in condition to it, in conjunction to it. And again, the airlines are the people who are going to check this, not the Colombian government. I mean, the the airlines on, on in the U.S. are the ones that are going to determine whether or not you get on the plane or not, not the Colombians. So regardless of what the Colombians law is, even if there is an official decree, it's up to the airlines to let you get on the plane. So I would take a look at this portal daily and I will and update you on what I find. But I want you to know that there is an application uh, that is run by the IETA, I guess, and they update this daily. So let me get into the other stories. I have a, a few good stories, so follow along. Okay, here's my first story. It is from Minuto Trente. It is entitled, Tourist Fell from the 22nd Floor of a Prestigious Hotel. This is in Cartagena. This is about two days ago. Uh, it says, on the morning of this April 27th, an American tourist fell from the 22nd floor of a prestigious hotel in Cartagena located in the area known as Boca Grande. As Edward Lee Lampley, the victim was identified, who was with his friends in the hotel room and according to the Metropolitan Police of Cartagena, from one moment to the next, another, he fell into the void. The events occurred at 12.56 a.m. in the morning and the hypothesis that are held for now, taking into account what the witnesses say is that it would have uh, been premeditated death or the tourist would have fallen into the oversight due to being under the effects of alcohol. Both theories have not been confirmed by the authorities, but an investigation into what happened has already been open. Okay. Next story, uh, again, is from uh, Minuto Trente. It is entitled, Medellin driver denounces that he was drugged and thrown into the abyss after stealing his car. So this was a, a ride share guy. Uh, it says, uh, what happened to the driver after accepting a fare in Medellin? It says the trip was going normally and the passenger he was carrying uh, even brought food on the way and it even invited him. He says, this is a quote, I, I received their coffee and what they gave me to eat, said the driver. However, he did not know what awaited him because later the man tells me to stop. And when he tells me to stop, I do not remember anything again, he said. Okay, it says the driver is missing for more than 24 hours, according to the aforementioned media. It was an inhabitant of the area who found him in the abyss at the height of the municipality of Corona, uh, tied up, apparently drugged and semi-naked. I remember that I was in a hole and looked up and saw some lights and I tried to grab out and grab the branches. And there were a few times when I fell and rolled backwards, said the driver. Okay, so they're drugging the drivers. I mean, it is what it is there now. I guess it's commonplace. Uh, my next one again is from Manuto Trente. Again, they're always on top of things. It says American woman was captured when they attacked the police and protest in Bogota. Remember, and I said this before, don't get involved in their politics. I mean, she lived there for a few years. She took it upon herself. So let's see what happens to her. You can see a picture of her here. Uh, but it says uh, the National Police delivered in the last hours the balance of the protest last Thursday, April 20th, 28th in the country. And one of the 47 captures uh, that were registered caught the attention of the authorities since it is an American woman who was surprised attacking the uniform in Bogota. So they're saying that she was attacking the police. Uh, who is this American woman captured in protest in Bogota? Well, according to the commander of the Bogota police, uh, the general says that the woman was identified as Maria Elizabeth G, who is, according to the director of the National Police, uh, the general Jorge Luis Vargas Valencia was captured when they attacked the uniformed men. He, this is a quote. He says, uh, we have asked the Digen, uh, which is their super military uh, police, uh, through the National Interpol office to verify the background of this person worldwide. We are concerned about talking to the police about the presence of this citizen. We are quickly pronouncing all the traceability of why, how, and what permission she was in our country and was captured in the Bogota when they were attacking police officials, said the general. So they're going after her. They don't care who she is, if she's prestigious or whatever, they're going after her and they're using the full force of the, the law and the military there. Be careful, guys. While you're down there, don't get involved in this stuff. Don't get involved in this stuff. Leave their politics to them. Just my two cents, okay? Gonna do what you wanna do. Um, the next one is from elpais.com. Uh, it says, uh, it's official. Avianca and Viva Air agreed to join the same business group. Now, we talked about this a few weeks ago, uh, but as this one says, 
at midnight on April 29th, which is last night, the airlines Avianca and Viva Air announced that both companies will be part of the same business group or holding. So this means that they'll be able to service more routes so Viva can share with Avianca and, and, and both ways. I think they're going to change the name to Avianca, not sure. It says the majority star, uh, shareholders of both airlines jointly announced that Viva uh, would become the same holding company as Avianca Group and that Declan Ryan found uh, part, the founding partner of Viva would join the board of directors of the new group, contributing to his expertise to the world of aviation, the report uh, states. Okay. Uh, before we get out of here, uh, on a lighter note, Madonna's in town. So if you're in Medellin right now, get over and see Madonna. <laughs> Madonna arrived in Colombia yesterday to perform a, in concert with Maluma in Medellin. Okay, it says the Anastasio Girardot Stadium in Medellin is preparing to receive around 40,000 spectators this Saturday, today, who will, uh, who will sing songs of Papi, Wancho, Maluma, and the Queen of Pop Madonna at the Melayo in El Mapa concert. The, the uh, Paisa singer had notified his followers of the surprise in the middle of such a long awaited concert. However, the Telemedian, Telemedellin uh, channel was the one that confirmed Madonna's arrival in the capital of Antioquia on the private flight this Thursday. So she just got in. And one last bit of, it looks like good news is coming. This is from Euronews.travel. And this has to do with the testing requirement to enter back into the U.S. being mellowed out a little bit, should I say. So it says, uh, I'm not going to read the entire story, but it says, despite the CDC giving uh, little away, U.S. airlines have hinted that the rules could ease in a matter of weeks. Yes, please, because this is crazy. Uh, but despite the CDC giving a little away, the U.S. airlines have hinted that the rules could ease in, uh, in a matter of weeks. Well, that's what I just said. Uh, we are hearing good things from Washington. U.S. Airlines Delta President Glenn Halstein uh, reportedly told analysts during the meeting on April 13th, hopefully, that testing requirement gets rolled back in the next few weeks. According to the iPaper, the company's chief legal officer added, we are getting a strong indication that pre-departure testing will be phased out in the near future, which is quite encouraging. So there's the news for Medellin, Colombia and Colombia as a whole. Again, it's the end of April. Who knows what's going to happen tomorrow? If you're traveling, let me know. Send me an email, if you will, to dcbornrobgroup at gmail.com. Okay, and join our group, by the way. Again, send me your name and your WhatsApp number to dcbornrobgroup at gmail.com. Thank you guys for watching. Be safe. Join me on social media. I am DC Born Rob official on Instagram. I am DC Born Rob official one on TikTok. I am DC Born Rob O on Twitter. Don't be like this guy right here. You're you're just so stupid. I, I had to send you a video to let you know you're so stupid. That's right. Don't be like this guy right here. Join me on social media. So I hope you like this video. If you did, make sure you go down and hit subscribe. You definitely like it helps that YouTube algorithm. You know what I'm talking about? See what I'm saying? We have a YouTube channel. Like it. Please comment and share if you like the video. Please subscribe and kick the bell.